Hello, my name is Jenna. I'm going to read you Doing Good Diary, but the title is Welcome to Sparkle Things. Let's read. A new family! Hello, there <coughs> Diary. It's your favorite unicorn again. Rainbow Tintail. You can call me Bowers. My favorite, my friend and I are super excited. Because an, a family of Jack Club arrived at our forest last night. I can't wait to meet them. Wait, this is a, maybe this is a map. I live in Sparkle to forest. Rainbow Falls, Tunnels, Troll Cave, Glimmer Glade, Dragon Nest, uh, Bud Bloom Meadow, Sparkle Grove School for Unicorns, Snowball Mountain, Union Park, Fairy Village, Goblin Castle. Large magical creatures live here, but they are, have never been any jack. Jackalows. Here's what I know about jackalows. They hop like rabbits, but they're bigger than rabbits. They have big ears and great hearing. They eat carrots. Family mean creatures hunt them for their special antlers. Uh oh, that's really bad. Unicorns are pretty interesting. Two. Here's some information about us. Ears bob, bob up and down when we hear music. Horn blow so we can see in the dark. Tail twisting and makes our powers work. It's also good for batting away flies. <laughs> That's good too. Mouth we can neigh like a horse. But we choose not to. Mm -hmm. Want to learn more cool unicorn facts? Some unicorns can fly. A pleasure from a flying flying unicorn wing can power a rigid broomstick. We sleep on small floating clouds. We don't have parents. Our friend is our family. We exercise our tails to keep them good at swimming. Me and my friend go to Sparkle Group School for Unicorns. As that's you, we live and sleep there in Unicorns. Mm -hmm. But those tails are all different now. Okay. Me and my friends all have different unicorn barbers because I'm a wishing I can go on one week every week. This is my best friend, Sunny Huckleberry. She is a crystal clear unicorn, which means she can turn invisible. Here are my other SSU poles with their powers. Nutmeg. Silver tips, flying unicorn, scarlet sugar lumps, single mall unicorn, weather unicorn. It's Jack Glitter Rock. The size treasure unicorn is Monty Dumpling. Pepper Forest Time, Healer unicorn. Shape Shifter unicorn is Rich Monty and also, he's their teacher. At school, we learn glitterific stuff like glitter wall, wall lobby, the science of glitter, cling and tidy, my magical mindfulness, hair. Obvious. Tail exercising. 
some way we also learn or try to do something new. When we all suck, we got a special unicorn patch that we shoot on our patch branches. I wonder which patch will work towards this way. I hope it has something to do with the new Jack Jackalope family good night diary. Monday at breakfast. We were all talking about the new family moving into the forest. I heard they arrived at the castle last night. The second, I can't wait to meet the eight Jack Club. I wonder how big the antelope are. I wonder how high they can hop. It must be scary moving to a new place. I wonder why they left their old place. We should throw them a return party. Just the Miss Room, Room Twinkle joined us. A party is a wonderful idea. Woohoo! It can be really difficult moving to a new place. When I first moved to Sparkle Groove, I didn't know anyone or my way around. We were all a bit shocked. When we saw, would. we would thought Mr. Warm Twinkles had always lived here. That must have been so, Mr. Warm Twinkle. It was, but everyone soon made me feel at home. Now, this gives me an idea. You will walk toward your welcome patch this week. Yay! So, when can we meet the jackalops? Not quite yet. Not quite yet. They are resting at Goblin Castle after their long journey. We started a party planning and came up with the following list. What do you think, Diary? Welcome party to, to the, the list. list. Make a banner. Ooh. Bake a carrot cake. And make a gift. Draw a map of Sparkle Blue Forest. Come on, sir. We're going to make those jackalopes feel so welcome. Sunny, Nutmeg, Monkey, and I made a welcome banner. Which, of course, involved... Involved... A lot of litter. This looks great. Where should we hang it? We should play near the castle. Now, rather than waiting until the party. That way, it will be the first thing the Jack Club see when they come out of the castle. We trotted to the castle. There are more guards than usual today. A lot more. Quick, let's hang this banner before they tell us to go away. Mm -hmm. Nanak and Mumsy hung the banner high up in the trees. Welcome to your new home, Jackalove. When we got home, we kept on paper. Scarlet and yellow. They had made a rainbow colored Character. Wow, that looks delicious. <laughs> I would eat it right now. That looks super yummy. There's leftover frosting. We talked about the extra guards outside the castle. Mm. I wonder why there's so many guards. I never mind about that food fight. We all do frosting. Add one another. It was the yummiest battle ever. Then we had fun tying up. Fun, really fun. I want to do that. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you. With our belly full of frosting, we went to bed excitement to meet the jackalope. I want to eat be full of belly too. 
Sui. Meeting a unicorn. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Today we started blowing a big map. A sparkle gold forest. Don't forget the rainbow furls. <laughs> Just the rainbow. Then two guys showed up. They looked very serious and were talking with Mr. Bomb Twinkle. What do you think they are saying? Maybe that we can meet the new family today? Hmm, it doesn't look like good news. When the guards left, we saw that Mr. Womp Twinkle was holding a royal invitation. Unicorns! I have been invited to speak privately with Queen Juniper. Why? Sometime she asked me for advice. You are very wise. Well, I don't know about that, but thank you. No, that's why. Then she left. What do you think the queen wants to talk about? Maybe the jack club don't want to stay after all. They can't, I, that can't be. Who wouldn't want to live in Sparkle Grove? I know. Let's follow Mr. Bomb Twinkle and find out what the problem is. At the castle, there were still lots of guards. We are not going to find out anything from here. Yeah, but we'll never get past those guards. Look, someone coming. It's Princess Greta. Hi, Unicorn. Those jackalopes. Wait, Greta was dragging three huge sacks of carrots. Hi, Unicorn. Those jackalopes sure do love carrots. Ooh, can we meet them? Well, Mom said. I'm not supposed to let anyone in, but it would be great if you could give me a hand with these sacks. Come on. Greta told the guard we were the, the unimportant wall business, so they let us in. Tired? Mm -hmm. I tired. I tried to whisper to Sunny. I'm so excited. We're going to meet the jackalow. Hmm. Sun, unch, unch, gone. Huh? But he couldn't understand me. In the castle, guards we saw two confused looking guards. Both the jackalope parents are inside talking with the queen. Oh. Hello guards, where are the jackalopes? Well, the jackalope parents are inside talking with the queen. And the little one is out here somewhere. She keeps hiding from us. Oh, I see. Bounder, it's me. Come meet my friends. A young jack jackalope hopped out from behind a tree. We got to know Bounder while Greta went to get picnic supplies. What was great was that Bounder was as excited to meet us as we were to meet him. Hi Bounder, it's very nice to meet you. I've always wanted to meet a unicorn. Do you know? No, we are not horses. I can jump high. Look! Wow, that's really high. I know, I've got skills, but unicorns have magic powers, right? Show me. Heaven and I made our 
Horn Slow and told him about the reading compartment. Then, then Nutmeg flew. Scarlet ma magic up a toy unicorn for a bounder. Monty went super small. Jed made it snow. And Sunny turned invisible parts from his body. Ha <laughs> ha, Jim, all amazing. Greta came back with a delicious picnic. So what are you, your parents talking about with the cream and our teacher? They're talking about whether we can stay in sparkle, please. Oh, that's sad that you might not be able to stay. Well, I hope you can. Poor Bounder looked very sad, so we didn't keep asking him questions. But we were all wondering, why might the jackalopes have to leave? Back at Juniport, we waited for Mr. Wormtwinkle when he finally got home. We asked him lots of questions. How did your meeting go? What did the queen say? Why might the jackalopes not stay in Sparkle World? Mr. Worm but Mr. Wormtwinkle couldn't tell us much. I'm not allowed to say, but I'm going back to the castle for us to sing tomorrow. I'm helping the queen and the jackalopes make a difficult decision. Oh, diary, we love little Banner. I really hope he can stay. Four, bounding about Wednesday. At breakfast today, we had only one thing to talk about, the jackalope family. I wish we knew why they might have to leave. There must be a good reason. Well, maybe we can't welcome the whole family just for us yet. But we can welcome Bounder. You're right, Bo. Let's show him around the forest. Yes! Today might be our only chance. So we all trotted to the castle. First, Sunny made himself invisible. Next, Sunny snuck up to the wall and whispered to Bounder. When we arrived, we talked to the guard. Hello, can we come in again today? Sorry, unicorns, but no. We are under strict orders not let anyone in without an invitation. We sit behind the bush to brainstorm a new plan. That's when we saw Bounder hopping high into the air behind the castle. If only there were a way for us to talk to him. That's it! I know what to do! <laughs> First, Sunny made himself invisible. Next, Sunny snuck up to the wall and whispered to Bounder. Psst, it's Sunny. Do you want to come to see the forest with your Jujun friends? Sunny, wait. We all hopped our lessons on magical creatures had been. Right, that jackalope. Have, have great hearing. Then Sunny heard a reply. Yes, please. Great, but we are not sure how to get out. Then Bounder did a huge lip and landed right next to us. I told you I feel. We had fun giving Bounder our tour. The forest. We ran around the bud bloom meadow. Okay. We, okay, we ran around the bud bloom meadow. We swam in the rainbow falls. Wee! And Bounder met a lot of magical creatures who li live here. Bounder loved our tour, and everyone 
He met loved him. Back at our universe, Scarlet magic up carrot cupcake. Founder made us laugh when he stuck stuck to on his antlers to save for later. <laughs> That's so funny, right? <laughs> We'd better head back before anyone starts worrying about you. Outside the castle, Bounder sadly looked, suddenly looked sad. Bounder, what's wrong? I really want to stay in Park Groove. Well, maybe we can help. Why might you have to leave? That's when Bounder told us his story. <laughs> My family and I had to run away from our old forest because we were being hunted by some mean centaurs. Your king wants to protect my family, but she and my parents are worried that if we stay, those centaurs will drag us down. Then everyone in Sparkle Group will be in danger. Oh, Bounder, that's awful. I hope Queen Jingle can keep you safe. Now, we really need to get you back inside before the parents worry about you. Bounder said goodbye and jumped back into the cattle. I'm Gordon. We all went to bed feeling worse. Oh, Sunny, I really want the Jack Club to stay. But I am scared of those centaurs coming here. I know. Oh, boy. We'll, we'll find out more from Mr. Worm Twinkle in the morning. It took me a long time to fall asleep. Five, midnight at Goblin Castle, Thursday. This morning we talked to Mr. Wom Twinkle. We've heard that some Santas are after the Jackalow family. Oh, how did you hear that? We told him about the meeting bounder and giving him a, a tour of the forest. We thought Mr. Mom Twinkle might be upset with us, but she wasn't. Well, you should have asked before taking Bounder out of the castle. But I'm glad he had a great time with you all. That little one has been through a lot. So <laughs> is the queen going to let the jack Jackalops stay? We want them to stay, but I'm scared of the centaurs. Me too. I can understand your worries, unicorns, but let me share what happened to me. When I first came here, it was because the creatures in the forest I came from weren't very nice to me. They said I wasn't a real unicorn. Because I was a shapeshifter. Oh, that's <laughs> awful. Yes, but everyone here made me feel at home. Sparkle Groove is a special place. Not because of its magic, but because it welcomes and takes care of everyone. This makes us stop and think. Then not Max say what we... We're all thinking we should protect the Jack Color family. How can we convince the Queen mm -hmm. to let the stay? The Mr. One Twinkle throned. It's too late, unicorns. The Queen and the Jackalops have decided those centaurs are just too dangerous. The Queen is going to give the Jackalop family two of her guards and hope they find safety somewhere else. They will be leaving tonight at midnight. 
Mr. Wum Twinkle trotted off sadly. Walk, 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 walk. There must be something we can do. Even if our forest friends knew about the dangerous that powers. Don't think they want the Jackalow family to leave, especially now that so many of them have met Bounder. Let's go talk with them. We told them we went to see everyone Bounder had met yesterday. We told them about the centaurs and about the jackalope leaving tonight. This is so unfair. That poor little jackalope is and his family. Jackalope must stay in Sparkle Grove. Sparkle Grove is a very special place. Even though those centaurs are scary, everyone wants the jackalopes to stay. Even the trolls. We must, must protect, protect them. them. So together we made a plan. So we will march to the castle and show them we want them to stay. Ooh. Just before midnight, the castle gate opened for the jackalopes to leave. They, the queen, and Mr. Warm Twinkle were shocked to see. Us all there. Please stay! Sparkle Grove welcomes you! Welcome, Welcome to, to your, your new home, home Jackalos! The Queen Juniper smiled that spoke to the Jackalos. We deep down always wanted you to stay, and now that I see that everyone else does too, you can't. Thank you all. <laughs> if you're sure, then yes, we would love to stay. Yay! <laughs> Suddenly, we heard hoofs galloping toward the castle. Then, this disaster two centaurs turned up. Oh, the calamity. Oh, my. Six, and don't come back. Friday, we were all super scared. As the mean centaur pointed arrows at us, we only, we only want the jackalops. Hand them over. Please don't hurt anyone. We will go with you. No, wait. Oh. Don't go with that. They, they are more of us than they are of them. If we work together, we can protect the jackalope. Before the centaurs knew what was happening, we all had formed a wall in front of jackalopes. Quick, everyone! Attack positions! These jackalopes are poor part of our Sparkle Group family. So, you will have to go through us to get to them. We didn't want to hurt the center. Center. But we didn't want to frighten them so the fairies fight arrows and the trolls threw rocks near them and dragon breath fire into the air too. Go, go away! away! Now the centaurs were the ones who looked scared. Arr! There are too many of them. Get out of the way! When the centaurs left, everyone cheered Bounder. Gave me a big hug. Bounder, do you know these children? Yes, they are my friends. They must be the ones who told everyone to come tonight. Thank you so much, unicorns. Queen Jinper, are you still sure we should stay? The centaurs will keep coming back for us. Mm -hmm. 
then bandits say just the right thing. I wish those mean centaurs could never set hoof in Sparkle Grove Forest again. You wish, then your wish is granted. Wow, so we can stay and everyone will be safe? Yes, this is your home now. I can't wait to really celebrate at the welcome party later today. Which? Number seven. Welcome to the family, Friday. The Jackalope family loved the map we made them. They started to make the barrel, the butt, butt balloon meadow. We're planting a carrot patch for you. Thank you. Yummy. The welcome party was breakfast fun. We ate carrot cake and danced. Home of the jackalope. We made a home for him. The Miss Worm Twinkle gave us our welcome mm. patches. Thank you for reminding all of us that Sparker Grove is one big family and we are always there for each other. So this week our Sparkle Grove family got even bigger and happier. I'm so glad we'll be neighbors. Neighbors? I saw unicorns didn't name. <laughs> See you next time, Diarrhea. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.